Joining me now, Justin Forsett, running back for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, good to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, listen, I, I want to ask you, the Ravens work out just 20 minutes from here. What have you been thinking as you watch first the riots and then the community response, Justin? Uh, it was definitely uh, tough to watch early on on Monday when you saw the riots and, you know, kind of the destruction of some of the, the locations downtown. Uh, it was definitely tough to see, uh, seeing the people hurt and, you know, uh, responding that way. But again, to see how the community responded to show that that was only uh, a few people acting out that way and most people wanted the peace, uh, the peaceful route and to show people, uh, show the people coming out, uniting as one front and one, one voice was uh, pretty special to see the rest of the days. You know, you and other players came here today, you came to talk to the kids, uh, you came to, to listen to them at local schools. What do you say to these kids and, and what do they say back to you? How do they respond? Well, we just wanted to go out and encourage them, uh, let them know that they matter, uh, that we're here for them, that we stand with them. Um, you know, we know that they've been through a lot, that they've been hurting for a, a very long time, and we just want to know that we, we just want to let them know that we care. Uh, I think that even talking with some of the kids, uh, they don't feel like a lot of people care about them and that they matter. So uh, we want to let them know that hey, we're here for them, uh, and that we support them, and uh, we believe in them. So Justin, you know, Ray Lewis has been, he's been telling protesters to go home, to get off the streets. I'm sure you saw uh, his video, and today the former Raven spoke at a high school. I want you to take a listen, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. When I'm telling my city on Facebook, go home, man. We don't win wars, we're war. Everybody believes in war. If we want to do something, take a protest and turn it into a march, because that's what changes things. You don't win wars with war. Do you think that kind of message is getting through to the teenagers who are really so angry ab about their situation? I think that any time you can get, you know, a positive leader like Ray uh, that's been here for a while, this is, you know, his city. Uh, he's done a lot in the community. I think that, uh, you know, he has, a, he has the ear of, of, of a lot of those youth and uh, just to allow him to go out and, you know, share and speak his heart to, uh, to the kids, I think it means a lot. I think uh, it was receptive. Um, you can see, like, pictures today of him uh, embracing some of the kids and the kids embracing him. Um, you know, I went over to another school today and, and talked to him. And, you know, the kids, they just want to know that uh, even after this event is gone away, that people are still going to be here for him. And, uh, you know, that just lets me know that they really need somebody uh, that's really going to pour into them and build a relationship with them and really uh, let them know that, uh, hey, once again, you matter and we care about you. You know, even you hit the big time, so Ray Lewis made it to the big time. When you think about it, not everybody can do that. Not even the best of people can, you know, become a major league player on any sport. Um, and that, you know, you have to, to gauge what your talents are and, and, and maybe take them in other areas. So what lessons can they learn from sports figures? Because not everybody's going to be a sports star. Right. Um, from, a from athletes, you can learn a lot. Uh, for one thing, you can see what the, the work ethic, you know, you can see that the time and dedication that it takes to, to make it to this level. Uh, and you can, you know, transfer over to any, any profession that you want to go into. Uh, we spend a lot of time, you know, making sure we're eating the right things. Uh, making sure we're lifting weights, running, doing all these sprints and things like that so, so we can, you know, uh, you know, have a better life for ourselves and our family. And, you know, sacrifice, dedication, hard work, that's all a part of it. Yeah. Uh, eating right in Baltimore, though, it's hard to do. So I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how you did it. <laughs> but Justin Forsett, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. We appreciate you joining us here on CNN. Come